fun. Okay. I'm Michelle. I am Jazz. And I love potatoes. Please subscribe. Even if you don't like potatoes, please subscribe because Jazz wants to go to college. College is so expensive. So apparently, I love potatoes very, very much. And there are a million different ways that you can cook potatoes. We're going to show you different ways to make potatoes. And today, it's not really we, it's really Jazz. I don't have the love of potatoes. <laughs> It's jazz. I'm just here as um, eye you candy. Need moral support. <laughs> oh, candy. Definitely eye candy. <laughs> here are potatoes. This is an onion. fry that I will do when I make omelets um, and sometimes I will just eat it and you can use it whenever it's pretty easy so we're just gonna start with chopping up these potatoes and onion they're already washed yeah pre-washed I like to take the skin entirely off the onion because it bothers me wait are you using the whole entire onion but you don't uh, take the this skin off the potato spot. no this is why I don't appreciate it. If potatoes. a potato has like a bad spot on it, um, you can just cut it off. Would you like to grab a knife and, and chop it? No, but I will. Thank you. I don't think the eye candy is supposed to work, but I'll do it. Oh, it goes faster that way. <sighs> so how are we slicing these? Just um, You can slice them however you really want. I like sort of cubing them, not necessarily dicing them but making them in small enough pieces that it's, um, I don't like the ends. The ends of the potato? Yeah. What is the difference between the middle of the potato and the ends of the potato? Because the potato. there's more flesh in the middle. Hey, I read that sometimes potatoes, they can grow poisonous flowers. Ooh. Anyways, I cut them up to be like about this size. Sometimes a little smaller, sometimes a little larger, but today we're stopping there. What, so what is this thing called that you're making here, besides uh, this fun time? Uh, the actual thing I'm making? Yeah, what is it called? Fried potatoes. I mean... So are they like hash browns? No. Describe what they are. They're fried potatoes. Can't be that simple. Basil agrees. I... That's, that sound is the dog and then my rabbits. Um, so One day we're going to do a tour of our place. Our pets. So you can see all the pets that we have. Um, so now, what is the second step? So I'm going to put these potatoes in a bowl for now. In a bowl for now? In a bowl for now. Because we need to chop up bowl. the onion. Make it you a better bowl. Did you say the eye candy wasn't supposed to work? <laughs> potatoes aside for now. Here is my secret ability. I can chop onions and not have tearing happen to me. It's my secret, super, up the onions, super yeah. secret. Now it's not a secret and now you all know. If you ever want an onion cut up, come to my house. Apparently you can chew gum while cutting onion and that'll help too. Never tried that myself. But. My grandmother used to hold a knife. Well, actually, my grandmother used to make me chop up the onions because I didn't cry. But when she didn't, Basil. didn't have me chopping up onions for her, she would put a match. Like, um, not a light match. That would be crazy. No, one of those, like, old-timey matches that had sulfur at the end. Do you want me to do this? Was We're it going not slow. Let me do it. Let me do it. Let me do it. Yeah, wait, well, no. I don't I'm know. going faster. Ah, no. Don't play with knives. That's not right. You're gonna cry. I don't want big, I don't, I don't want small, what are you doing? Making you cry. You have <laughs> onion juices on your hand, that's not. Stop. So I, this is not, let's get over a bit. Hi candy. <laughs> I'm just proving my superpowers. Just in yeah. case anybody I'm not superpower. like tiny dicing these, I'm just large dicing these. Why can I do that? Cause you were doing it. Terribly. 
and you should have a one to one ratio of potato well actually you should have a one one point five ratio of onion to potato. We're gonna go up to the stove now. Yeah. Oh. Oh. So we're at the pan. I put a chunk of butter. You can put however much butter you want. I put a lot of butter. I think it's better with a lot of butter. Um, Most people would agree with that. You want everything to be coated in butter? I mean, I guess you could use oil too, but I like using butter. Butter's tastier. Yeah. It's creamy. Could you do it with vegan butter? Absolutely. Absolutely. We had the best vegan butter. <laughs> um, we have a great website. Check it out. All these recipes are on that website if you're ever looking for products. We have links to products. Yep. yep. It's All too right. bad we don't smell a vision. Yeah. Anyways, right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it with a lid for a little bit. How long is a little bit? Um, as long as you feel. I might feel like two seconds. That's not enough. Nope. At least, I would say four minutes. And then stir it, and then you cover it again. Because all the condensation and the hot air and the steam cooks everything that's on the top that's not touching the pan. So everything gets cooked and softened so then you don't have hard chunks of raw potato. Okay, so we'll be back in four minutes. Yep, probably five. Ooh, look at that. You can see like it's starting to fit the ones on the bottom. Mm. I have my heat at like medium too. That's, that butter is I feel like you need more butter. No, that's enough. That's what eye candy does. This is a non-stick pan, so I'm using a plastic spatula. Please don't use Please don't. metal on your non-stick pan. You'll scrape up all of the non-stick and get metal in your food. You don't want to eat metal. This is a ceramic non-stick. Yep. That's what we like to use. So I'm just stirring it up a little bit to sift it around. And then in a second, I'm actually going to cover it again. Actually, for right now, since this is a for more butter stir, no. You can add whatever spices you want. I typically do salt and black pepper, and you can typically add it at any stage. This is my favorite salt. It's Himalayan famous salt. It's so delicious, and I like it. Salty potatoes. Buttery, salty potatoes. Well, it's telling you that like, oh, it doesn't matter. It's not it's, like. I never noticed that. Well, there you go. Black pepper. I like a lot of black pepper. Because black pepper is yummy. And, and not spicy. Thank <laughs> you, And then just stir that. I mean, you can add whatever else you can want. You can add garlic powder, you can add onion powder, you can add cilantro, basil, Wait, why would you parsley. Add onion powder if there's onions in it. Different flavor. Different flavor of onions. That's very hope you don't have to kiss anybody. <laughs> or if you do kiss them, make sure they're eating all that onion powder too. <laughs> why do you like potatoes? Because potatoes are amazing. If you have a craving, potatoes can be made like that. You can have sweet potatoes, you can have savory potatoes. Get up spicy potatoes. What was your senior quote in the yearbook, Jazz? <sighs> My senior quote was, um, but happiness is not a potato. Dot, dot, dot. Except it could be. Hashtag spud life. Hashtag spud life. Spud life. That's just like spud time. Ah, oh, look at that steam. Ooh, wow. Here are the potatoes. plate them now to eat. Now what is a good thing to do with these potatoes is while you're making them, like crack maybe two or three eggs in them. Inside? Inside. In the pan while you're cooking. So okay. you make a scramble and you have a potato scramble. Bing! Beautiful. 
So are we going to taste them now? Yes. They are super hot. Yeah. They just got off the stove. You don't eat them this hot, do you? Sometimes. She's dropping onions everywhere. Mmm. <laughs> buttery. I have to blow it a little bit more because it's hot. Mmm. Mm. What you could do is you could sprinkle a little cheese. Mm. I might add a little bit more salt afterwards. So it's very buttery. Mm. I thought maybe you needed more butter, but you don't. Mm -mm. It's good. Mm -hmm. And I could see this not being a breakfast. I could see this for... No, you can eat this any time. Sandwich. You can put it in soup. You can put it in eggs. You can eat it for breakfast. You can eat it for lunch. You can eat it for dinner. You can eat this no matter what. That's the magical thing about potatoes. You can eat them anytime, anywhere. And it's acceptable. Thanks. I would call this maybe a potato scramble because often I'll make it with scrambled eggs. But I also make this for my omelet filler. So now we have... Mm. If you get the caramelized onions in there, you could either put it with some veg, like crumbled up veggie sausage, or I guess if you eat real sausage, you could put it with that, or like some veggie bacon, or I guess if you eat real bacon, real bacon, and you just fry that up with the veggie sausage, and then you add the scrambled egg with it, and then with some like jalapenos. I love potatoes. So, thanks for watching. Subscribe. Please subscribe. Because, you know, Jazz really wants to go to college. And college is so expensive. It's thanks so, so much expensive. for watching. Thank you so much. Share it with your friends. Subscribe. Please. Like it. Tell your friends. Tell their friends. Tell their family. Tell their friends. Yeah, do that. And then eat some potatoes because they're good for you, apparently. Potatoes make you healthy. Oh. <laughs>